Hey guys, Real Morton here, and I'm here today to talk about Digital Morton. The heck is Digital Morton? If you've been following this channel, you probably know I love chatbots. I love all things bots, really, trading bots, you name it. Up until this point, my chatbots have been kind of simple. Aficionado was the first chatbot that I ever really built out of this GPT stuff. And in general, it's very simple to make a retail bot. A retail bot, you train it on your website, you train it on your user guides and things like that. Maybe do a little bit of correction and auditing in the first initial conversations, but you have it ready in about three days and it stays pretty on point. Digital Morton is an entirely different monster. This is my first attempt to create a multidisciplinary tutor robot. So I wanted to train this bot in all the software that I've been showing you guys here, as well as trading bots, trading, trading theory, marketing, automation. I've tried to cram this guy as full as I could to make it a real expert and make it useful. If you go over to my website, automatedincomelifestyle.xyz, you'll see Digital Morton hiding right down there in the corner. You can see I've got some starter questions, what service, does Automated Income Lifestyle provide? How can Digital Morton assist me? Where can I access your training videos? So let's see what he says there. How can Digital Morton assist me? Digital Morton can assist you by answering any questions you have about the tools and platforms used to automate online ventures. I can provide training videos, walkthroughs, and links to the platforms and services that Real Morton uses. So a user over the weekend asked about Python and the response that it gave about Python, it didn't know anything about it. I can only stick to what automated income lifestyle has provided me. Sorry. And then I thought, maybe I can train this on Python too. So I loaded up some Python libraries. Let's see. Give me some code snippets to start a Python trading bot. Import session libraries. Connecting to Binance. Here's the thing, guys. Even though this was asked, I'm not experienced in Python. I've still got learning to do. I don't know how to audit this right here to, to know if it's even going to work. So I'm going to leave it in there and I'm going to have a developer friend kind of help me with it and we'll see if it's even worth leaving in. I've heard mixed things from developers. I know people that are using GPT right now and use it consistently for code. And I know other people who swear that it's, you know, it's just barely usable and you really have to know what you're doing to assemble something with code snippets output by GPT. But we'll see what can happen there. Next, I want to ask it, what is the best crypto bot for long-term Bitcoin holding. I want to accumulate more Bitcoin. And it's right, exactly what I would want it to say. You can find more information about growth bots and their advantages in chapter 11 of the context provided. It shouldn't be saying that to end users, right? Like the context that is provided is the information that I've given it, but it's not telling the people where it got that chapter 11 of what book. So let's ask it something else. Explain candlesticks in price analysis like I am a total newbie. Candlesticks are a visual representation of price movements and a price chart. They are commonly used in price analysis to understand the behavior of an asset such as a cryptocurrency. Each candlestick represents a specific time period such as a day or an hour. That's very good. It's very thorough and from what I'm reading, correct. Let's, uh, let's ask it. I want to automate my blog. What do you recommend? To automate your blog, I recommend using Blogify or Make.com. Blogify is a tool that allows you to turn anything into a blog with AI. You can crank out content faster than ever before. You can find more information about Blogify here. That's, that's a pretty good response. The most important part here, did it serve my affiliate link? Yes, it did. It's got my affiliate link to Blogify. Now I'm going to ask him a different question. 
I need help with make.com. Is there a way to copy paste parts of a scenario? Let's get a little technical. Yes, you can duplicate parts of a scenario in Make. To do this, you can select the modules you want to copy, then right-click Choose Copy from the Context menu. That is correct. Afterward, you can right-click the space where you want to paste the modules and select Paste. For more detailed instructions to get started with Make, you can sign up or log in here. Let's see the golden moment. It gave them my affiliate link. And next question. I need to turn my blog into videos. Is there a tool for that? Ooh, it failed. This is one we're going to come back and audit because I do have a tool for that and I have trained it, but apparently it doesn't remember the tool that is appropriate for the job. So you're going to watch me correct this so that it gives us the right answer when we ask again. One thing that's really challenging about these GPTs, my users cannot be expected to be prompt engineers, which to get the right output from your GPT, you kind of have to know how to ask it. And the ways in which somebody online can frame their question will truly surprise you. They can come from so many different angles and each different one can be a new opportunity for your bot to mess up. I'm creating a bot like I am that is going to be trained on multiple platforms, some of them with very similar keywords, but totally different operations totally different goals. We'll go through the training process here and I'll share some of my pain points with you. This bot is a unique challenge and I've titled him beta for a reason. I'm not so sure that I'm going to go live with this bot or keep him live if I can't get him to respond the way that I want to. Unlike the easy retail bots that are trained on one website, I've trained this using the user documentation available on the websites of the software that I use. But the problem with that sometimes he gets confused. It's quite a bit more of a challenge trying to pull information from different sources and expect it to still maintain its coherence. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. Now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when I audit and correct a response. And then we're going to try again. So I'm going to pop over on to Oramon AI where I'm already signed in. Got a link in the description if you guys want to give it a whirl. And I'm going to go to Morton 2.0 beta. And we are going to go to my chat history, and it should be one of the most recent chats. Yep, yeah, this is the one. Turn my blog into videos. I apologize, but I can only provide information related to automated income lifestyle and its products. Flaggity flag. And as soon as I flag, I get the opportunity to audit the message. So instead of I apologize, I'm going to say, why, yes, there is a perfect tool for that. Have you tried Capwing? Check them out here. And then I'm going to give it my affiliate link for Capwing. Where is that? Right there. Save. And it's telling me train untrained changes. So right now I've audited it, but I haven't saved it into its memory banks. We're going to pop over there and I'm going to train my chatbot. I click train. It might have quite a few items from my auditing earlier today. So we're going to fast forward because it might take it more than a couple seconds to process this. And as soon as it's done training, it takes us over to the train and test window, which has a little simulation of my chatbot running. So let's ask it again. I need to turn my blogs into videos. Is there a tool for that? You better give the right answer this time. There we go. Yes, there is a perfect tool for that. Have you tried Capwing? And then it gives them my link. Now, let's try something else. Let's try to word this just slightly differently and see if we can trick it. I need my written articles online to become a video, then to be able to edit and export to any platform. What do you recommend? I did trick it up. It recommended Blogify, which is an excellent tool for taking your videos and turning them into blogs. It doesn't do the opposite. In fact, Capwing is almost a perfect mirror of that because you can feed it scripts and documents and have it auto-generate videos. So if you need to turn your blog into a video, that's Capwing. Right here, I have a feeling what's happening is it's just that these two different tools both associate words like video, blog, AI, generate, and it's kind of grabbing its best guess. 
and I just have to go back and retrain that. So let me retrain it. Right now we're in the training environment, so we actually get a link right here immediately to train our bot. I'm going to keep most of what it said, but I'm going to say recommend using Kaplan. It's a tool designed to help you create engaging videos from your written content. You can learn more about how to use Capwing, and I'm going to replace that by visiting this link, and then I'm going to, again, provide it my Capwing link. Save and train. The more you train with asking it questions from different angles, the more it retains the information and gets better over time. Now I'm going to ask again, this time the same way, just to make sure. To turn your written articles into videos, you can use Capwing's Document to Video AI. Perfect. This time it didn't give them a Capwing link. I'm not totally disappointed about that. I would like it to give them a link, but it's okay if it doesn't. Now let's see what happens if I ask it to give me a link. How do I sign up? get started with Capwing and turn your articles into videos, you can sign up on their website. Unfortunately, I don't have a direct link. That is just not true. I have given this thing my Capwing link already, yet it just seems ignorant right now for no apparent reason. As you can see, it's very useful in some respects, and in other sense, it's still kind of wildly unpredictable. With the retail bots, this is true too for like the first 24 to 48 hours. And what you do is you spend time auditing the responses. Every time it says something incorrect, you flag it, you edit it, and over about two or three days, a retail bot that's working on a store that has limited products or kind of a niche product line, you can train it fairly well and have it ready to deploy inside three days to a week. Whereas what I'm trying to do with this bot right here, I'm hoping that it's going to be done within three weeks by the time I want to start advertising my book. But if it's not, then I'm just going to pull it from the website and work on it in private and probably make it available to any of you guys on YouTube through a private URL if you guys want to help me break it and, and help me hack this bot. Please give me a like and a subscribe if you like my content. Thank you for chilling with me today and watching my video. I appreciate all of you, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic summer so far. Onward and upward.